it was a remarkable achievement tonight. Yeah, the team, the squad, the club, the management team, including myself, and especially the president who put his faith in me. I won't hide the fact that there were moments of doubt and I was scared at times, but we never gave up, and I really want to thank the players. I've always said that it's tough when you're struggling, mentally speaking, but at the end of the season they showed that they were still there in the big games. So congratulations to my players because they've been really fantastic. But when we look at where you were heading into week 38, how do you explain what happened? Well, sometimes there's nothing to explain. We managed to squeeze through a mass hole. On the final day, with an hour gone, we were in Domino's League 2 because we were 1-0 down. We managed to get an equaliser against Toulouse, but we were still going down. But the players found the mental resources to go above and beyond. They had that desire to avoid dropping into the second division. We gave ourselves a huge scare, but the guys found the mental resources. And they also found the quality. It's not easy to score three goals against this Lens team. So yeah, there's no particular explanation. Just have to say a huge bravo to the team and to our superb fans who got behind us and helped us when we needed them. On a personal note, you were sacked by Gangos, you came to Dijon and you saved them. You must be very proud. Yeah, but I'm not really thinking about that. Wherever I've been, I've always stayed on good terms with everybody, with President Depla, with the team. I still hear from my former players in Gango. I'm sad for them, of course, but that's life. And I always try to look ahead. Today, we're here in Dijon, and I'm happy that we managed to get the job done. But I'm sad about what's happened to Gango, and I'm sure they'll be back in Ligue 1 Conferama soon. Will you still be Dijon coach next season? I don't know, we'll see. That's not really the question tonight. Why don't you know? Well, he doesn't know. <laughs> we'll join you as you head over to the stand. Romain, you must be delighted. Like at least 15,000 Dijon locals tonight. Yeah, it's really good. Honestly, a tough season for us and we got out of jail at the end. So thanks to everybody. It's great to end the season on a high note like this, even if it was really tough. It's pretty miraculous. Yeah, it is miraculous. I mean, we came from nowhere. Even against Toulouse, we thought it was over. Well, that's exactly it. I mean, what was that like? Week 38, you're 19th. You have to beat Toulouse and hope can't lose at home to Bordeaux. And then you go 1-0 down. Well, we never stopped believing. Our family's always behind us, my parents, my brother and everybody. I imagine it was the same for the others. They really encouraged us. So the win today is for us, but also for them. Well, we've spoken a lot about Lance, especially those of us in the media, with the fans and everything, but the supporters are just as passionate here in Dijon. Yeah, it's that all-consuming desire to win. Nobody was rooting for us, but we're still here and we'll be back next season. We have to learn our lessons from this season because it was tough and that way we can enjoy a better campaign next time around. What did coach Comboare bring to the team? He gave us fighting spirit that we'd perhaps lost during the season. He's a leader, a motivator. That's what he brought. He just told me he doesn't know if he'll still be your coach next season. Do you have any info about that? I'm afraid not. Well, good news. It's now time to celebrate.